when I was uh, probably about 14 or 15, realized I had never been off the continent of North America. I was born in Canada, spent mm -hmm. time in, oh, okay. you know, was, was raised in America, but I'd never been outside of North America. And I decided that I wanted to go to Europe. Okay. So I went into school at the circle school the next day and I spoke to a staff member and I said, I want to plan a trip to Europe. And we spent about two and a half years planning this trip, me mm. and, and two staff and four of my peers by the end of it were, was who was left and who went on the trip. Nice. Um, and it was a really satisfying experience for me. I think what I was doing in that process was developing sort of the meta skill that I think all of our kids who spent significant time here develop, which is the, the ability to look at something you want to do to set a goal mm. and to figure out the steps towards that goal. Mm. I think that that's something that students are uniquely able to practice in schools like this. And so I did that. And I think that the school was better off in several ways because of that. I think, well, one of the ways that we fundraised was by selling spaghetti every Thursday for two years. Mm. <laughs> and so I think that that became sort of this sweet ritual for the community mm. while we were there. Another way that we fundraised was by inviting families to occasional game nights and, uh, and selling food to make money. Mm -hmm. And so I think for the community of the school, uh, it was enriching. But I think it, it was also good for the school on another level, which is that it sort of demonstrated what can happen at mm. a school like this. It, it gives you something to point to, to say that that is possible. It won't be mm. easy. It will take a lot of work, but it is possible. And I think that there's something inspiring about a school that has been around now for 40 years and has stories like that to, to show current students or prospective students what you can do if you have the, the time and space and the drive mm -hmm. to do it. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.